uh, I'm interested in the power of art, in the power of poetry, in the power of language, um, in the fact that it does do things in the world, uh, that it does change us, that it does move us, that a um, that a sustained emotion leads to a sustained thinking. You know, a sustained thinking is a belief. Um, what we believe we will have, you know what I mean? Um, and so, um, because I believe in all, it's it's very difficult to believe in all of that without also having some understanding of um, of spirituality at work. Um, that uh, that there is something other. There is something other than um, that which we can touch that makes a difference or that makes us who we are or that pushes us forward. There's something other than even action, what we can see moving in the world, for instance. Uh, uh, there is something beyond what we have our five senses for. That thing beyond what we have our five senses for has a lot to do with what I'm doing when I write a poem. Um, I know that because when I read a formal poem or even a free verse poem, if it's good, I hear it. But no one is in the room reading it aloud. You know what I mean? I mean well, the reason I fell in love with Sylvia Plath and Emily Dickinson when I was a kid in Langston Hughes, um, because I could hear them when I was reading their books in the library. They weren't there. <laughs> and yet I could hear it. 